Welcome to That Though Podcast. I'm your host, Danielle McPherson. And I'm your host, Lily Carr. Our episodes are brought to you by Rose Hill Library, and today's guest is Mrs. Martin. Before we have her join us, make sure you follow Rocket Productions on Instagram and Facebook. If you have missed any episodes, you can find the Rocket Productions Network anywhere you listen to podcasts. So, how are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. We're good. I'm a little sick, though. I don't know. Have you been noticing that? It's been going around yes. everywhere. <laughs> Yes, wash your hands and stop drinking after each other. Oh, that's the best <laughs> advice I can give. Why that? <laughs> I don't know. Just there might be like a point or two in this podcast that I like. I have to look at Lily because I can't hear myself at all. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully it sounds okay. But talking a little bit about Rose Hill, do you live inside the school district? I don't. I live in mm. Derby. So you weren't able to vote on the bond. I was not able to vote on the bond, but I highly encourage you people yeah. for it. to vote on the bond if they lived in the district. Absolutely. Yes. What are you most excited for? Um, I think I'm just excited for the high school to get some updates. Um, yeah. I was a Rose Hill grad of 2009, and so it's um, kind of stayed the same Looks since the same. Then. <laughs> exactly. Um, and so just even us getting like matching tile and just kind of like updating the interior would be awesome to see. Do you so. know that if that's what they're doing? Like, is it going to be all tile school or are we going to like rip up the carpet and put new carpet? Um, I'm not quite sure what they're thinking about doing, but I do, I do know they're, they're looking at to some updates inside the school. So okay. some, some things just, um, our custodians have been awesome and oh, maintaining absolutely. it, yeah. um, but it just needs some TLC now. It so. definitely it needs a little update. It yeah. looks. When was the school built? Do you know? Oh, it's like in the nineties. 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 It mm-hmm. it looks like it. Yeah, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay because yeah. it still functions. It does. Yeah. We learn. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Somewhat. Yeah. Is anything in like the bond like affecting you? Much? Um, not affecting me personally I mean I just think it's awesome that uh they're gonna look at a softball field for the girls Mm -hmm. um having that uh you know I played softball here um when I was in high school and they're still playing on the same softball diamonds that I played on (laughs) and so um you know seeing that for the girls and having those on school property um Mm -hmm. is gonna be awesome I think so And I don't know if Mr. Lambert mentioned this. And I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, making something up in my head. But he said that with some of the new resources that we have, there might be new classes opening up. Is that a possibility? Um, I think, um, like, well, with Butler, like, you know, we're still mm-hmm. looking at utilizing that space down by Mr. Hill uh, mm-hmm. wood shop room. And so if that's welding or something with them. Um, but, yeah, uh, if uh, we have the funds to, um, you know, reorganize some, some classrooms and things, I, I definitely think that could be a possibility. So I mean, I guess it would impact you if, like, I don't know, putting kids in classes, which is always a big thing. How long does that take yeah. you, actually? I've always wanted to know, <laughs> like, like, what like what goes through, because I know I email you a lot about my <laughs> yeah, schedule, like, though I shouldn't. <laughs> um, it takes quite a while, so around spring break time is when we start doing really? en- enrollment, and then I, I work over the summer, um, and then really schedules aren't complete until, you know, you guys can still change them, like, the first yeah. week of school. So it's a long process, yeah. but... Um, just I don't know I'm just nervous for next year because I don't know what like goes into senior year and I'm kind of like scared I I mean you'll be fine I if anything we'll we'll be coming back to you to change classes yes Yes. no that's okay she told me I couldn't (laughs) apparently we're supposed to stick with our counselors yes Mr. Allison though I don't know I can't like talk to him like I can with you (laughs) you'll get there he's a nice guy so he'll help you out I guess I need to talk to him about college classes yes yes uh, I don't, hmm, it's just a whole process. It is a process. Everything's going to be changing next year, though. Yeah. Especially, like, because they said, do you know what they wanted to get done for the bond, like, before school started? Um, I think they're going to start doing some work outside. So, like, okay. the practice field. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, I think th- some of the work outside is what they're they're looking at starting. Yeah. Hopefully, was... we're, Mr. Lambert's supposed to reach out um in the next couple yeah. of months to, mm-hmm. to let us know what's going to get started. So, Because mm-hmm. I remember they said that they wanted to do softball fields and then that they were either going to do the auditorium or the hallways during the summer because obviously you can't do that with kids there. Mm-hmm. But, like, they also said they wanted to do the storm shelters during the summer. But, like, mm-hmm. can't you do that when kids are in school because it's an outdoor building that they're um, just adding? Yeah, I'm not quite sure on how all the buildings are going to go. So. I know, but <laughs> I, I, there's I, a lot I, of building to be done. I was yes. like, I guess he it's has just it all exciting that out. it got passed, mm-hmm. and so now we yes. get to look yes. at um, the next step. So. I know. The I'm first just... step was getting it passed, and now, now. We, now we get to plan. Yep. Now it's, like, 
full what's it what's the saying full force full, full circle. circle full, full steam circle. ahead full <laughs> what i actually don't know oh today's such a what's today thursday thursday oh it's a <laughs> thursday, it's <laughs> thursday. <laughs> it's a thursday. <laughs> okay well we'll be right back with mrs martin after this commercial the rose hill library started out as a community library at the school their hours are 9 a.m to 7 p.m monday through thursday and 9 a.m to 1 p.m on saturday they're closed on fridays and sundays they have nearly 10,000 items to check out and all you need is a library card they also have story time on mondays at 10 a.m and during the summer they host summer reading programs the library can also fax and scan documents to a flash drive and make copies for you you can contact them at 316-776-3013. Auto body connections have been in Rose Hill since 1989. Any mechanical or electrical problems you have, bring it on down to Auto Body Connections and see the team at 325 North Pawson Street in Rose Hill. And the phone number on that is 316-776-0222. McCullough's excavation was established in 1985 by Jess McCullough as president. They started installing sewer service and septic construction for residents. Over the years, their company has grown into commercial, and industrial, and municipal site utility constructions. Their business hours are 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And contact number is 316-634-2199. All right, we're back with Mrs. Martin on the Ethel Podcast. So I heard from Browning that this is your first year of robotics. <laughs> Yes, I am a robotics sponsor along with Ryan Hills this year. So. Is he the head person? Yeah, he's um, he's been involved um, for many years. I mean, he's been, I think, 15 years, oh, or at least he's so worked wild. with us for, you know, worked at yeah. the school for 15 years. So um, he's been in robotics for quite a long time. Yeah. So I'm more of a um, learning what all goes involved in it. Is this like it? your yes. first year doing anything like at all robotics related? Yeah. yeah. So, yep. Well, why did you decide to join? <laughs> um, I mean, when Mr. Owens left, uh, we kind of had that hole mm -hmm. and, um, we advertised for it and nobody applied. Mm -hmm. And, um, Mr. Hill came and asked if I would help, uh, drive the kids to, um, kickoff day, which is kind of at the start of the robotics mm -hmm. journey and, uh, like the, the theme this year. And I was like, yeah, I can drive. I don't have anything to do on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, and it was kind of interesting. And so we just kind of started talking. And he, he needs another adult to kind of help yeah. with some things. And so it's been a journey, but it's been fun. So uh, what does the schedule slash practice look like for robotics? So um, this Saturday is actually our game day. Okay. Um, so basically for the past um, ooh, six weeks or so, um, the robotics team has been designing, building, and marketing their robot. Um, so we're Cork Robotics. It's a company is what they say. Yeah. Um, and so their quality, um, they're based on like quality and design. Um, and, and the students have really taken time to design their robot. Um, they have a mission this year of driving on the moon surface. So the game day tarp, um, it, it's suspended and it's a tarp and there's like moon rocks. And uh, if your robot can do certain things like scoop up the moon rocks uh, or slide the solar panel, like you get a certain amount of points. Um, so they've had to build a robot based off of those needs. Um, and then there's also a marketing side of it. And so they're marketing Cork Robotics. Right. Um, they had to get interviewed by Barton School of Business students via Zoom and explain what Cork Robotics is, what their prototype is, the robot. Um, so it's, it's been a lot of work for them. Yeah. Um, and they've done awesome at it. So our, basically our practices right now are um, finishing the robot, fine tuning it, and then getting our marketing displays ready for game day is when you like put robots and that kind of stuff do you and i mean obviously you build them specifically for the challenges but like did you guys do a big robot small robot it has to fit in a certain size it does uh-huh so, so you can't do like a ginormous no robot. no ginormous <laughs> robots Dang it. so there's size limits um best is a nationwide um competition um they have local um, so like we're in the Wich Wichita region mm -hmm. and so they provide you with, um, rules and regulations mm -hmm. and certain parts and things that you have to use. So mm -hmm. yeah. how confident are you? Like, well, how many kids do you have in robotics right 13. now? 13. No, sorry. We have, um, there's 13, including me and Mr. Hill. So 11. 11. <laughs> yeah. And you guys have been, like you said, working for a while. Are, do you think y'all are going to do good? 
Um, I think that we are going to do as well as we can do. Um, <laughs> and they're, they're really trying. So it's taken us a while uh, for practice day to mm-hmm. the day of we got the robot working, like we got it moving. And so that was even just exciting that that was our goal. And so this yeah. goal is um, we want to do a couple tasks. We want to slide um, the solar panel and maybe pick up a, a moon rock and then go back to base because we only get three minutes yeah. to do competition. Um, so our our notebook, they have to write a comprehensive notebook. They put a lot of time and effort into that. Um, and the marketing side is great. And then build is doing what they can. So that's great. Yeah. Is, so this was your first year and obviously Mr. Hill has been doing it for a while, but is there something that you want to change for next year? Like some outsider's input that you're going to bring? Um, I think, uh, me and Mr. Hill have have talked about just like some more organizational things. Um, we had to move everything for Mr. Owen's room down into the extra Butler County space. And so making that a little bit more organized so we can find more tools better. Um, and then potentially just, uh, looking at getting some outside sponsors and, and some more things. So, right. yeah. Cool. Well, those are all the questions I had, honestly, other than we have a couple, would you rather questions <laughs> okay. for a little segment. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Lily, you want to yeah. start us off? Yeah. Would you rather have Mexican or Italian food? Mexican. Mexican. Queso me, no, all day too. long. Queso. Oh, oh <laughs> I'm going to have to disagree on that <laughs> one. Yeah. Olive Garden over everything. Oh, but that is true. <laughs> You're right. Would you rather be a math teacher or a science teacher? Neither. neither science neither science <laughs> that's why i picked it. I, neither. I was gonna put history or english but then i feel like i've talked to you about this before and i had to do one that i wouldn't know probably science science yeah uh fall or summer fall mm-hmm. i like sweaters and sweaters. cozy mm-hmm. weather and and things like that yeah exactly would you rather visit la or new york new york i think new york. So, have you been to those places before i've been to LA briefly, um, and then uh, I've been to New York before, so oh, okay. I liked New York. I'd go back. Yeah, yeah. So that was all I had. All thank right. you so thank much for you. coming and talking to us. Thank you, and thank you for watching that little podcast. If you missed any episodes, you can find them wherever you listen to podcasts. Make sure you follow Rocket Productions on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host Danielle McPherson, and I'm your host Lily Carr.